This video is going to look at two of the main uses of electrolysis, namely purifying copper and electroplating. It'll look at what they are and how they're useful. Now normally when copper is obtained from its ore, it can have lots and lots of impurities in there. So what we have to do is purify it. The reason for this is that because of the impurities, it makes it a poor electrical conductor. So to purify and to turn it into our wiring, we need to use electrolysis. So for example, what will happen is they will set up an electrolysis process and they'll have two electrodes. One with a small amount of pure copper and one with a large amount of your impure copper that you want to purify. And the electrolyte that they'll use is copper sulfate. Now during electrolysis, the copper atoms in the anode over here will start to lose electrons and they'll turn back into copper ions, so they'll turn into Cu2+. And then because opposites attract, they will naturally move towards the cathode. They will then, once they get to the cathode, lose those electrons again and start to be deposited on the electrode. So eventually, the pure copper one will start to build up with pure copper, and this one will start to disappear. This process will continue until all of the copper has been purified. Now what will happen with the impurities is they will deposit at the bottom of the electrolysis column where they can be removed. And these are your half equations. So the anode, the solid copper on the impure electrode turns into Cu2 plus by losing two electrons, migrates over to the negative cathode where it will then gain those electrons back and be purified, removing any of the impurities which drop down to the bottom here. So the next bit we're going to have a look at is electroplating and what it is. So put simply, electroplating is taking one metal that you want to cover with another metal and using electricity. So coating the surface of a metal with another metal using electricity. So say you had a brass metal or cup and you wanted to coat it in silver. What you'd do is you'd take a silver electrode and you'd have a silver electrolyte like silver nitrate there. So in this example here the cathode is the brass cup, the anode is pure silver in this electrolyte here, electrode sorry, the electrolyte is our silver nitrate solution. Now what will happen is the silver ions from the electrolyte here will move over onto the cup there and it will get deposited on the brass cup. The anode here will keep giving silver ions to the solution until the reaction is complete. So I'll just repeat that to you. The silver from the solution goes onto the cup. The silver electrode keeps putting silver ions into the solution and this will continue until the electroplating is complete. So electroplating can be used for many different things. The two main ones are decoration and preventing corrosion. So for example jewellery can be coated in silver and gold which makes it look more attractive. A lot of cutlery is made out of iron which rusts and corrodes. So what they do is they'll use electroplating using either nickel or chromium which is unreactive that will go onto the iron cutlery and then that will stop it from rusting.